We have with us Mr. Mayank Gupta, CFO Kardeco Group. Mayank, thank you so much for talking to Entrepreneur today. Thanks for having us. Mayank, you've seen the journey of Kardeco from a startup to a unicorn, and now the company might be all set for an IPO. So, I mean, and these days everyone is talking about governance, everyone is talking about having a CFO in place. A bit. So, what kind of role you have played in the journey of Kardeco? So I've been with the group for three years, and uh, you know, uh, if I s summarize my role, are two things: one, uh, getting a right business model, so getting profitable and start measuring return on capital, and secondly, uh, building a strong governance in place. So I've spent a lot of time to shape the governance. Group was already already very very highly governed and compliant group, uh, but I've applied a lot of my best practices from my uh, earlier companies. I was with a large multinational for 15 years, uh, and apply global MNC's best practices to Indian ecosystem. And today, very proud to say we will be among the best uh, governed company in the startup ecosystem in India today. Wow. So any advice you could give to startups around corporate governance? So I would say, one, uh, start early. Uh, make it as part of your DNA. It's not somebody else's job. Uh, it should start from founder and the top management itself, number one. Number two, keep it simple. Uh, lay out simple tools of uh, ma measuring and managing your governance and um, follow it in spirit. If there are loopholes or gaps, probably talk to the government, provide some advocacy, try to simplify laws versus taking shortcuts. So my recommendation would be keep it simple and follow the rule of the government and pay applicable taxes, whatever uh, are due to government. So at what stage a startup should think about bringing in a CFO? So I, I would say, uh, I think any startup which starting should have a finance DNA from beginning. It should not wait because, you know, the moment you're managing money, maybe pre-revenue, maybe too early, but the day you have revenue, have some finance domain or in a DNA. It could be a co-founder, it could be a small finance guy, or it could be an outsource. A typical a senior CFO should start to come from series B onwards. So maybe a two to three hundred million dollar valuation range and upward should have ideally a full-fledged CFO of good pedigree is what I would recommend. But prior to that, at least DNA around fp &A, business finance should definitely be applied to solve unit economics, profitability, uh, measuring return on capital and so forth. I also believe that uh, you're also looking after the fund which Kardeco Group operates. <coughs> so can you tell us more about that? Okay. So we do have a Gina Vision Fund which is basically to help uh, you know invest in uh, upcoming uh, startups uh, and help uh, to incubate them uh, and uh, they are largely in spaces which is synergistic to us. So we want to spread to the ecosystem. Uh, we are all, always on a lookout of uh, new startups. Uh, we have made one small investment so far and really looking to add uh, several more. Uh, events like this, which is Startup Mahakumbh, help us explore a lot of new startups. And, uh, you know, uh, we are really looking forward for any startup which is taking country forward, which is backed by technology and trying to build in the solid business way, which is profitable and unit economics focused. We would love to, uh, you know, evaluate those startups. And again, in the autumn, Automobile space only? Uh, so look, as a group, uh, we started in automobile, but today we are like spread in a lot of other areas. So we do have a fintech arm called Rupee. We do have an insurance brokerage arm called Insurance Echo. We do have a high tech arm called College Echo. Uh, so like that, we have now spread across a lot of segments. So anything which is synergistic to all these segments, we are looking forward to it. And of course, anything deep tech, anything artificial intelligence and ML is also of uh, you know deep interest to us. Okay. All right. Thank Thank you so much for talking to us today. Thanks for having me.